How to plant lettuce. Are you a romaine lover, or more of an iceberg person? Regardless of the variety you choose, lettuce is a hardy crop that grows well in most regions. The seeds are started indoors and planted just after the first frost. With luck, you'll be able to make a salad with delicious homegrown lettuce by early summer. Read on to learn how to plant lettuce. Growing head lettuce. Choose a head lettuce variety for indoor planting. Head lettuces take longer to mature. If you start the seeds inside, the plants can benefit from an earlier planting date, and therefore a longer growing season. Iceberg and romaine are two common types of head lettuce. If you're planting loose leaf lettuces, skip down to these instructions. If you are planting in late spring or summer, you may need a heat-resistant variety such as Jericho. This is especially important if you live in a hot climate. Prepare seed trays. You can start your lettuce seeds in store-bought seed trays or make your own out of an old egg carton, box or newspaper. Fill the seed trays to within one half inch centimeters of the top with a soilless growing medium. Moisten the medium in preparation for sowing the seeds. Seeds already contain the nutrients they need to germinate, so you can plant them in a soilless growing medium. You can buy a growing medium or make on from an equal mix of vermiculite, perlite, and milled sphagnum moss. Since the seeds will be moved to the ground once they sprout, the aesthetics of your seed trays aren't as important as their functionality. Sow the seeds four to six weeks before the last spring frost. This will give them time to germinate and sprout before the ground gets soft enough to plant them outside. Scatter seeds evenly into the compartments in the seed tray. Use your fingers to gently press them into the growing medium. Give the seeds plenty of sunlight and water. Place the tray in a sunny window and keep the growing medium moist at all times. If you let it dry out, the seeds may not be able to grow. You can cover the seed trays with a few layers of newspaper for the first week or so, until the seeds sprout. Keep the newspaper moist with water at all times, and remove the newspaper when you see green shoots coming up. Don't overwater the seeds. If they get waterlogged they may not be able to grow. Transplant into the garden. The earliest you can transplant your seedlings is two weeks before the last spring frost date. Dig holes in rows 16 inches .6 centimeters apart, just deep enough to plant the root balls underground. Lift the lettuce seedlings from the seed tray and place them into the holes. Gently pat soil around the roots so that the seedlings stay upright, planted to the same depth they were in the trays. Water the seedlings thoroughly. For best results, harden off the seedlings first by placing the tray in a sheltered outdoor area part of the time. Do this for two or three days, increasing the amount of outdoor time each day, too. You can continue to grow indoor seedlings and transplant them outside throughout the growing season. Select heat-resistant varieties for summer transplanting. Use a watering can or a hose with a diffuser spray nozzle to water the lettuce garden. Don't completely drown the seedlings in water, just make sure the soil is damp. Fertilize the lettuce three weeks after transplanting. Use alfalfa meal or slow-release fertilizer that is rich in nitrogen. This will keep the lettuce growing fast and strong. Cut mature leaves. When the leaves look mature enough to eat, resembling lettuce leaves you'd buy in the grocery store, cut them with a harvest knife or scissors. After a few weeks, when the plant is mature, you'll want to cut the whole plant from the ground. If you leave it in, the lettuce will eventually go bad. Harvest leaves in the morning. They acquire a crispness overnight, and they'll retain it if you harvest early. Lettuce starts to bolt in hot conditions toward the end of the growing season. It begins producing seeds and acquires a bitter taste. You can keep this from happening by pinching off the center of the plant. If a lettuce plant does end up bolting, go ahead and pull it up. Store harvested lettuce in the refrigerator. If you don't eat your lettuce right away, you can store it. If you put it in a plastic bag with some paper towels, it should keep for up to 10 days. 